Hi, my name is Bill Murray and I'm the founder of NASCA, the National Association of Adult Survivors of Child Abuse, which is a grassroots organization primarily functioning in North America that I founded a few years ago and I'm very, very proud of. The hundreds of people that have volunteered their time and energies to NASCA have done a terrific job in providing free services, over 20 of them, I think probably almost two dozen of them now, to the community that we serve. In fact, as an example, we now list every group and service that we know of in each of the 50 states and all of the provinces of Canada, individually by state and individually by province, and inside those lists, alphabetically by the city they belong in. Thousands and thousands of groups and services are listed in the NASCA project. Well, we'd like to do the same thing for other English-speaking countries and other places that speak English in their meeting and recovery groups, even if they don't come from English-speaking countries. So we're about to expand that project, and at this point, we're going to be adding the, great, the, the British Isles, including the United Kingdom, obviously, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, but also we're going to include all of Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and any other countries that have English as a primary language. Even if their primary language isn't English, for example, Israel, we'll list that country too. Then we're going to go back, as we've done those individual countries where we know a lot of English is spoken, and we're going to list by continent all the countries in each of the continents, and under them, where we know about uh, countries in the continent where English-speaking services can be found and how to locate them. We always give the, the name of the group, the description of the group, the email address of the group, and any website link as well. So it's a, com a really complete list. No one has ever done this before as far as we know, but we're proud, I'm proud, that uh, members of, uh, of the international community really have begun to help us a great deal. For example, the lady that's primarily responsible for putting together this list is from London. Uh, one of the people who is most responsible for procuring uh, special guests for our talk show six nights a week is from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, and now we have an association with people in Australia as well and back in Manchester in, Ireland, in England. We're having a guest soon from Israel and we've done over a thousand, almost a thousand, uh, radio shows 90 minutes long, many of which have featured special guests who include adult survivors themselves plus other people who work in the industry that tries to fight against the really the pandemic of child abuse. Well, we recognize that we're now part of a, a global community and we're delighted that we are able to reach out to other groups like the one in Manchester who asked us if we'd be willing to support Blue Knot Day in, in Australia, which we were already in support of and had written articles about and talked about on our talk show and so forth. But it was a natural uh, opportunity for us to say, of course, we support anyone anywhere who has a problem with child abuse or needs resources about child abuse or is a survivor, if they're willing to come on the air and share their story, we'd love to have them. I'm not sure where NASCA is going to end up because I wasn't frankly sure where it was going to start. But the gem of the, of the concept of NASCA has to do with the fact that I myself am an, am an adult survivor of child abuse who was abused since age 11 all the way through his teenage years and then didn't get into a recovery process until I was about 30 years old. So I freely talk all the time to groups about what it was like to be used by men, all men, uh, to be uh, the victim of thousands of pornographic pictures, to be kidnapped for two weeks, and then to have confessed what had happened to me to, yet, to, to, another, to a priest who turned out, although he originally seemed like he was going to be helpful to me, to be someone who was uh, actually interested in me sexually as well. I'm still battling that battle. 30 years later, 30 years into recovery, uh, I'm very happy though that NASCA, the National Association of Adult Survivors of Child Abuse at NASCA.org can help anywhere, anytime, anyone in any aspect of the many issues of child abuse, whether your abuse was uh, sexual, physical only, 
emotional trauma, or through neglect or maltreatment, we'll be there to help you. We've got about 24 programs, two dozen programs, which are designed, and they're all free, to help the individual, whether we're talking about uh, prevention or intervention for the group of kids who are going through child abuse today, or recovery, what we refer to as recovery, or sometimes the healing journey, uh, being in the solution, however, as an adult. If you're an adult survivor of child abuse, we of course want to help you find an appropriate path to tell your story for the first time and an appropriate group or individual to continuously share with and use the tools from so that over time you can become more and more comfortable living inside yourself and that's our goal. Once you do that, we'd be glad to have you join us in a capacity as a volunteer. All of us are volunteers, we're all non-paid and we're not funded by any group. We do this out of our own pocket and our own time and there are some of us the core group of volunteers who spend literally dozens and dozens of hours a week, maybe a couple hundred hours in some cases, in a couple of cases. This is the mission of my life and I know other people feel the same way. And we want you to rest assured that we're not going anywhere and we'll be here to help you in any way we can for as long as we can. And our goal is to reduce the incidence of child abuse, not only in our country, but internationally to increase the awareness of the problem and to try to bring people together to work on putting an end to child abuse someday, but certainly fighting the fight today, which is necessary and ongoing and will take decades for us to really defeat. Again, this is Bill Murray thanking you for the opportunity to address you there in the, in the United Kingdom and in Australia and around the world and saying it's my privilege to serve the National Association of Adult Survivors of Child Abuse whose website is at nasca.org and the child who still suffers today as well as the adult who suffers from the traumas and the abuse that he or she experienced decades ago. God bless you and good night.